Can you make an app? What's your favorite video game? Is it Minecraft, Flappy Bird or FIFA? Have you ever questioned who makes those video games and the way they do it? All those fantastic video games and mobile apps that we use each day are made possible through algorithms written by coders. Sounds boring, did you know? The youngest coder in the world is six-year-old Arham Om Talsania from Gujarat. Coding is not something only adults can do. Even you can start with the basics of coding. Why should you code? To make cool stuff. Have an idea for an app or a website. Code will help you make that. It can also help you automate a task or create new tools for your friends. Coding enables you to actually build the things you have imagined. Have fun. Learning to code is fun and empowering. Coding also opens up a whole new world and network for you. You can make new friends and share your interests and learn from them too. Boost creativity. Coding demands repeated experimentation. The process of trial and error boosts creativity. It also involves visualizing abstract concepts that can be applied to mathematical problem solving. This, in turn, helps you improve your logical thinking and use them in real-life situations. So, what is coding? Today, mobiles, TVs, cars and even washing machines have computers in them. They all work based on lines of code that instruct them to perform specific tasks. Computers don't understand human languages. They understand programming languages. Coding is simply writing in a language that computers understand. It is used to give instructions to a computer. The computer then uses these instructions to complete assigned tasks. The tasks can be as simple as helping you with your homework to creating a complicated video game for your friends. The possibilities are endless. The more complex the tasks, the more complicated are the instructions. Coding Languages while there are loads of coding languages, they may be grouped into visual block-based coding and text-based coding. Visual coding is the best place to begin your coding adventure and as you outgrow that, you can move on to text-based ones. Visual block platforms allow you to place and snap together virtual code blocks to create games, apps and more. Scratch, Snap and Blockly are all examples of block-based coding languages. While Blockly is mostly used by adults and coding real-world tools, Scratch and Snap can be used by young coders for more intuitive and visually engaging learning. Scratch was created at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, United States of America. Today, Scratch is one of the most popular block-based coding languages and its online network continues to grow each year, making it a great learning tool with plenty of tutorials only a Google search away. Scratch allows young coders to create interactive video games, animations and creative stories with a large variety of background images and characters. Inspired by Scratch, Snap was developed at University of California, Berkeley. It includes more advanced programming concepts and thus acts as an excellent intermediate step once you outgrow Scratch. But you are not yet ready to advance beyond block-based coding. Snap apps can also be converted to other text-based coding languages. Compared to block-based coding, Text-based languages require coders to be more comfortable with a keyboard and have a better understanding of logical thinking and high-level arithmetic concepts. They offer the ability to tackle a wider range of projects and gain a deeper understanding of computer science concepts. Python is a great first step towards text-based coding. 
it's one of the most popular coding languages for both beginners and professionals. Python does not require an understanding of the more difficult computer science topics, making it a great alternative to more advanced coding languages. Additionally, the rules of Python code are intended to be similar to English. Python's Turtle Library is a graphic library that provides a strong visual component that keeps students engaged, empowers them with artistic creativity, and makes the transition to text-based coding easy and fun. For young coders with a strong interest in design, hypertext markup language, HTML, and cascading style sheets, CSS, may provide an exciting opportunity to get an early glimpse of web development and web applications. HTML is the code that most websites run on and defines how the information on a web page is structured. The CSS code then specifies how the web page looks, including colors and other design aspects of a page. Together, these languages give all the basic skills that you need to make a basic web page. JavaScript is another important tool for web development. JavaScript is typically used alongside HTML and CSS, defining how the website behaves and how users can interact with it. Although not quite as easy as Python, JavaScript's syntax is still easier than most advanced coding languages. If you are looking for online lessons to help you in your coding journey, there are plenty of options for that too. A lot of platforms teach coding in a fun and interactive way.